I'm credited with mixing and mastering the Euphoria Season 2 soundtrack, also the Season 1 soundtrack by the artist Labyrinth. Working on that release was honestly like a double dream come true because I'm such a massive fan of both Labyrinth and the show Euphoria. Working in the music business, sometimes you have to take projects that aren't necessarily near or dear to your heart because it's the music business and you have to just kind of walk through whatever doors are open to you at the time. So getting to work on something that is really special to you and that you're personally a fan of anyways is just, it's just an awesome feeling. It's euphoric. One of the memories that sticks out about working on this soundtrack was getting a call from management telling me I was going to be part of the project, which was awesome, but also that there was about 40 plus songs and some of them needed to be mixed within a day or two because they were going to be added to episodes that were right about to air. A phone call like that is kind of freaky, but also amazing at the same time, mostly amazing. And yeah, I remember we had to work at a pretty quick pace because the music was being written, recorded, mixed, mastered, just in real time as the show was being edited. And mixes I was doing were going in episodes that were airing, you know, the day after I finished mixing them. My favorite track from the album, very, very hard to pick one out. This is like all killer, no filler. I remember hearing I'm tired and just like wanting to cry. I remember hearing Elliot's song and thinking what a brilliant, beautiful tune. Love hearing Dominic Fike, Zendaya and Labyrinth all singing together and doing harmonies together. There's a song called Skeletons, which I think showcases Labyrinth's awesome you know, ability to interlace different genres. There's a really gorgeous song called Angels Sing that just has so much soul in it. And Labyrinth's vocal delivery is just so heartwarming. I'd have to say my favorite song is maybe not a super popular song on the album, but um, it's called Dracula. And I just remember hearing it and the changes in it are so like cinematic and dramatic and shows a really cool side of Labyrinth that he doesn't get to show necessarily in his pop music. What does it mean to me to be a part of the record? One of the things I think about before I go to bed at night is like how grateful I am to have worked on so many cool projects And a project like this one is what I dreamed about as a kid, thinking, you know, I just want to be a part of making some really great music that goes out into the world. That's my ongoing goal in life, and working on an album like this fulfills that goal.